Hello boys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be predicting the whole Euros. We're going to be doing the tables, the winners of each knockout round, the top goal scorers, the top assisters, anything you can think of will be in this video. So as you can see on my screen, we've got all the tables. So we are going to go through the tables first. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be like predicting each match because you'd be here for about two hours. But I'm going to just predict the outcomes. So we'll just start off with Group A. Scotland lads, you can fuck up. No, 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 I do not want that. Uh, how do I change that one? Well, that's not good, is it? Uh, hold on a minute. Scotland fans, don't get too gassed because you, my friends, are not going there. You're going into fucking bottom. So Germany are going to win this group. That is banker. I think they're going to actually have a really good tournament because they got, you know, the likes of Musiala and all that and and flirt, flirts, verts. Uh, Hungary or Switzerland? So yeah, I want to say Hungary because they cooked us 4-0, but I'm going to go with Switzerland. Because they always just, there's always that one team during the Euros. They always get to that quarterfinals, semifinals. They knocked France out of it last time. So, yeah, and then go Hungary. And then Scotland, you don't even get to be chosen because you're just shit. Bagpiping twats. Uh, and then next group, I reckon Spain are just going to, Spain would just be too good. they got Yamal now, Morata. I feel like Spain are going to be, we'll get on to them after the uh, whole prediction. But I'll talk, I want to talk about them. I'm going to go with Croatia because they always get it done. They are a bit of an Asian squad, but Italy just stink, lads. They shouldn't have even qualified. They literally, like, robbed. I can't remember what. I can't remember how they qualified, but it was so stinky. Uh, group C. Oh, come on, lads. It's coming home. It, this is England's group all day long. And then I'm actually going to go Serbia. Serbia are a little bit... People need to keep an eye on them. they got Mitrovic, Vlahovic, Malinkovic, Savic. they got a lot of itches. But they've actually got quite a good team. And people aren't really... You know, talking about them. they got a good, 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 good core. I don't know what happened to my uh, words then. But yeah. And then I'm going to go Denmark. And then I think, unfortunately, Slovenia will be knocked out. Uh, and now we get a bit spicy. We go to Group D. Oh, this is good. So, uh, I reckon France are going to win it. Let's be honest. I mean, yeah. It's just not really up for debate, is it? They're probably the favourites along with England going into this. I'm going to go with Holland to qualify. No upsets in this. And then it's going to be... Uh, the David Alaba team and then Poland are going to stink it. I just think, um, well, that's how we go along. I just think that Holland, I mean, Holland have been a bit stinky in the previous couple of tournaments, but I have a good feeling about them this tournament. I don't know what it is. I just think they got, I mean, Van Dijk and Mickey van der Ven and Frimpong and whoever they play left back, maybe Ake, that is a solid back line. Uh, I, the, only, the only worry for Holland, in my opinion, is their attack. It's a bit... I don't know where the goals are going to come from, but there's rumours of Frimpong playing right mid and Dumfries playing right back, which wouldn't be too bad of a shout. But yeah, uh, right, this is where it gets tasty. So, who's going to top this group? Fucking, do you know who it is? It's going to be Slovakia, lads. And then it's going to be Ukraine. And then Belgium and then Romania. Yeah, you heard me right. Belgium, they stink, yeah. De Bruyne caused loads of beef last time by saying... Oh, we, we aren't going to win it. Our players are old and we don't want it. Or whatever he said, he started chatting shit in the change room. I reckon that caused a massive uproar. They're going to go into the group and they're going to be fucking arguing. Hazard's too busy and fucking went bloody Stamford Bridge playing charity matches. He's played more charity matches than professional games in the last three years. So he's pissed off. De Bruyne's just old and injury prone. He'll get injured. And it's, they're just relying on Lukaku, who actually is quite good for Belgium. But yeah, they're going to stink it. Ukraine are going to win the group just because, oh, we're victims. Sorry, that is actually quite bad. I shouldn't say that. But uh, do you know what? We'll keep it in. And then uh, Slovakia. Yeah. And then Group F. <laughs> Who's Turkai? Oh, it must be how they spell it. Uh, right. As much as I want to say it. No, Portugal are going to win it. And then... Oh, Czech or Turkey? That's an interesting one, isn't it? I reckon we will go with... Ooh. Do you know what? Shoot me. Georgia are going to cook. The Kvarat Shkelia team. They're going to go off. All right. So, the top four from the third place teams. This is a bollocks, by the way. How can teams go through by coming third? This is how Ronaldo won it by his team qualifying for third and winning one game in 120 minutes of football. It's a or 90 minutes, sorry. It's a joke. You like how so? How many teams actually get knocked out? Like ten, not even ten. It's it's actually embarrassing. Anyway, 
Uh, so we'll go Belgium, uh, Hungary, Denmark, and Italy. Yep. So here we go. Now it gets spicy. We've got the round of 16s. Oh, we have got some games to choose from here. So I reckon Germany will get it done. I feel like people are overlooking. Is it overlooking or underlooking? Overlooking Germany. Switzerland, Croatia. That'll be an actual really... That'll be, a, that'll be one of those games that you don't think will be good, but it'll be a banger. I think Switzerland will get it done just because Croatia are too old now. Modric might as well be in a care home. And then the, the rest of the team's just old. Switzerland, I mean, Shakiri. We know what Shakiri's like when it comes to international tournaments. He is literally messy. Uh, Spain, Hungary is an interesting one. Hungary are actually quite good. Uh, but I think Spain will get the job done. I, feel like, I do feel like people are overlooking Spain. I know they went out to, uh, um, what's it called? Bloody Morocco in the World Cup. But the Euros, they only went out to Italy, who won it in the semi-finals. So I feel like Spain will go far in this, but we'll carry on with them. England, yeah, we'll get it's coming home, lads. Well, I don't know if it actually is, but we'll beat Belgium. Belgium is just old now, and De Bruyne will just cry. Uh, Portugal, Denmark, here we go. Upset of the day. Denmark, they're going to win it. Christian Eriksen's going to ball out because he nearly died. Uh, and then Denmark are just going to get it done. I, ju I just have a funny feeling Portugal are going to stink it. They're going to play Ronaldo for the sentimental... It was like Royce in the final. They brought him on and it went to shit. The same is going to happen with Ronaldo. They're going to play him and Denmark are just going to cook them up. Holland will beat Ukraine uh, quite comfortably, like 3-0, I reckon. I just think... I, I just think Holland will be, it'll be comfortable. I know they just lost to Jong for injury, but they will get it done. Uh... Italy should beat Slovakia. Slovakia stink, but Italy stink. They both stink, but Slovakia stink more. Uh, and then we're not even going to talk about France, Georgia, because Georgia are just useless. And these quarterfinals are looking, they're looking, they're looking snazzy. Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, oh, Spain, Germany. Goodbye, hosts. I reckon Spain, yeah, they will do it. I need to keep my phone on because it's got some of the stuff I need to say at the end. Uh, I reckon Spain will do it. Um, quite comfortably, not quite comfortably actually, It'll probably like 2-1, that'll be sort of what I reckon, I, re I reckon like, Morata's going to cook this tournament, just watch, and Yamal, and then, they, Ferran Torres always performs, they got a good team, I'm telling you, Rodri, you know, they solid team, So I reckon, and Grimaldo's now there as well, uh, so I reckon Spain will get it done, uh, and the host will be gone, although Germany, I don't know, that's a tough one to call, I reckon Holland will beat Denmark, quite It'll be tight, but I think they'll get it done like 2-1 maybe. France, Italy, France are going to wipe. They're going to take them to the cleaners 4 fucking nil, mate. Because Italy stink. They like Who have they got? They've legit fell off. They shouldn't have even qualified. And then, oh no, I'm going to sneeze. But the mighty England <coughs> are going to pepper Switzerland because we are just insane. Uh, Semi-finals, oh, we have got Spain, Holland and France, England. Do you know what? Oh, that is a tough one to call. Uh, oh, God. How will that game play out? I reckon Holland will scrape it like 2-1. And then, do you know what? Do I be really? Do I go with my heart or my head? What do I go with? Hmm. I go with my head. England! England! It's coming out! That's what I reckon. I reckon we're going to do it, lads. I actually do. Like, we are the favourites, and it's going to happen. It's about time. We're going to get reven revenge on Holland. Uh, Holland? France. They're going to stink it. Mbappe's going to be crying. And then we're going to do Holland. And, uh, yeah, that is what's happening. Oh, there's a, there's a teddy bear. What's going on? There we go. England! That, that is what's going to happen. Right. Now, I've got some other stuff I want to go through. So, let me whip out the phone. Sorry, that sounds dodgy. Whip out the phone. Uh, so, we've got, we've got some awards I'm going to give out. Top goal scorer, Hazza Kane. Har Harold Kane. I think that's his name. Yeah, it's just a banker in it. We're going to go far in the tournament. We've got some semi-easy games. He takes penalties. It's going to be Kane. Top assister, I'm going Trent. Uh, because I think he's going to play midfield. And he's just insane. I'm not being biased. Have it. 
Uh, burst, I've, I've done an award dedicated to Micah Richards, the Burst on the Scene Award. Dovbik from Ukraine. He's, he's what's going to get them top of the group. He's going to cook. He plays with Girona. He's bad, like, he buys like, 70 goals. I think he was, like, top goal scorer in La Liga. Watch. People are going to find now He's going to be, like, the James Rodriguez of the Euros. And then, young player of the tournament. I've gone with probably quite a popular one, Lamine Yamal. I think he's going to start. The guy's been so good whenever he's played for Spain. He literally cooks everyone. He is literally a Riyad Mahrez regen. Uh, and then we've gone with player of the tournament. I've actually gone with Trent again. Yep, I don't care. Just watch. You're all going to find out why he is literally the second coming coming, coming of Pele. I don't know why he'd be Pele, because uh, he's not dead. But just watch. Trent's going to cook. Uh, Dark Horse, I have gone with Spain. <laughs> Although I did not... Wait, where did I get Skate Spain 2? Oh, they lost in the semi-finals. Yeah, I feel like people are overlooking Spain. I think Spain are going to do some business. They've got a good team, you know. When you really look through, they've got a really good squad. And I reckon they're going to go at least semi-finals. And I, I was struggling between Holland and Spain. Uh, so, I don't know on that one. And then, underachievers, I've gone Portugal. I think they're going to stink the gaff up. I think they're going to honk. I don't even know where I took them to. They lost to Denmark. Yeah, I think... Like I said, they're gonna Portugal gonna stink because they're gonna play Ronaldo for sentiment, sentimental value. He's gonna stink the gaff up. There's gonna be arguments. They've got Bruno's a crybaby. They got Ronaldo. This is literally like a nursery. There's just a load of kids crying. So they're gonna stink it up and they're gonna be the underachievers. Going along with that, I've gone with my stinker of the tournament player. It's gonna be Ronaldo. He's gonna cause loads of uproar because he all it's all gotta be about me. He's gonna score three penalties and blame the team and they're gonna argue and he's gonna lose them the whole thing. So that is my final Euros prediction. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, boys. And I'm sure I'll have a load of you arguing with me over my opinions. But do you know what? At the end of the day, uh, scrap me. So yeah, hope you boys enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.